Hello friends, today I would be giving interview on scheduled apex to Gyanavishwar Malba. So hi Gyan, thank you for coming again and taking my interview. Hello Smriti, how are you? Good, good. And thank, thank you, you for this interview. Apex and are you ready for scheduled Apex interview questions? questions? Yes, yes, all set. Cool. Thank you. So, I'll just thank go ahead and start the interview. Thank, thank you. you. What is an Apex schedule? So, I can say that Apex schedule lets us, lets us to delay the execution. So we can run Apex class as a specified time when we want to uh, schedule it. So for example, we want to schedule uh, daily or weekly. So it helps in scheduling the Apex, batch Apex basically. Yes. Basically, yeah, yeah. to schedule the Apex class. And then I'll go for the next question. What interface is used for schedulable Apex? Should it build interface? Yep, that's, that was an easy one. So the next question: What are the methods used with the scalable interface? Execute method. So here I would want to specify that schedulable and queueable both have execute method, and the batch is having start, execute, and finish. Yes. Do I get extra points for that? <laughs> you ha you have been you have been given those answers in the previous sessions. Okay. So yeah. But let's see. What is the parameter of the execute method? So uh, the parameter of the method is scheduleable context object. Yes. So we'll pass the parameter to the interface. Okay. What happens after the class is scheduled? Um, I'm not sure. Can you help me with this? Sure. So once it is scheduled, so basically there is an object called crown trigger. So that is created, which represents the scheduled job. Okay. So basically it gets the trigger ID method and the ID of the crown trigger API object is used. Okay. Got it. Yes. And I have one more question within this the same slide. What are the arguments, arguments of the system dot schedule method? And as I, I have answers on the same slide. I can just go ahead and let you know and can explain you. Okay. Okay. Like basically, system dot schedule method takes like uh, below three arguments, like name for the job, like which job you want to schedule, and the cron expression, like what time date you want to schedule to run the job, and the name of the class. Got it. That helps. Yes. How, How to, to test, test scheduled Apex? So again, uh, if you want to test, again, the simple answer is that we use start test and stop test, which we do for other asynchronous Apex. So the schedule Apex yeah. will be must will ensure to schedule jobs in between that. So that's how we will be doing. Okay. okay. <laughs> What, what is, is the government limit of the schedule I think uh, we can only have 100 schedule apex jobs at one mm -hmm. time. And uh, I think the maximum number is 24 hours period. Yeah, yeah the, the maximum. maximum. Yes, yes, you, you can, can have 100 uh, schedule, schedule jobs, jobs at one time. time. And then... Okay. Yeah. Got it. That helps. Okay. Can we make a callout from scheduled Apex? So uh, I would say that no, we cannot. So just to uh, please let me know if I'm correct. We can uh, make a callout from batch, from future, from queuable, but not from schedule level. Yes, yes that's, that's right. right. How, how, how can, can we monitor, monitor scheduled jobs? jobs? So again, uh, after a PEX job has been scheduled, uh, we can obtain the information by running on the uh, query on the cron trigger. So we can do like select ID, cron job details and other uh, uh, details. And then we can do from the cron trigger. Yes. Correct. And that, that was, was the last question, question for me for today. today. 
I'm glad that we were able to complete a uh, few uh, recordings on interview sessions on asynchronous epics and that was really good and I really appreciate your efforts to like help us and prepare us uh, through this and give us an interview. Okay. Also, can you uh, show the answer for this question? Yes. Okay. 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 Yes, uh, and then, like, like as, as we have seen, seen like in the previous questions, questions like the ground trigger jobs once created, we can use that job to get the information, like ID, the uh, job detail name. Got it. that really helps. Thank you so much. Thank you for Thank your time. You.